Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on my uh, channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to install EUP for LSPDFR. So the first thing you want to do is to go to LSPDFR, so type in lcpdfr.com and then go type in on the search bar EUP menu. And it'll come up with this one. What you want to do is to uh, download, download this one. So press download, agree and then download the latest version. I didn't need to do that because I've already done it. Um, also you want to install this one so you click on that which will take you to this one uh, so you want to download this one as well so click the download and uh, agree and download the latest version of it you when you go back to this one so back to the actual EUP menu you can download this serve rescue one this one is where uh, like you get uh, fire and EMS clothing okay so Click that one. You don't have to download it, but you can if you want to so download that one. And that's all the three you need to download. Once you uh, downloaded EUP, uh, open up the EUP menu one. Close that. Set that to the side. Open up your uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Uh, if you go to files, and then you see the plugins folder, and you see plugins here. So if you drag the plugins folder over to here, drag and drop, wait for it to copy over, and that's the EUP menu installed. But before any of the other one, all the uh, clothes in that work, uh, you have to download the EUP LO. So this one is, if I go back to the internet, that's this one, Law and Order one. So. To download this one, create a new file on your desktop. It doesn't matter what you call it, so call it whatever you. Double click on that, open that one up. So now you want to, what you want to do is drag this OIV file into that folder. Let that drag and drop, and that's copied over. Still need this one, don't close it yet. So now what you want to do is open up OpenIV, so open this one up. Right, once OpenIV is opened up, make sure you're in edit mode. It won't work otherwise, so make sure you're in that mode. So now you see these uh, three little dots here. If you click, if you hover over it, it says package, open package installer. That's the one you want. Right, once you clicked on those three dots, it would open up this folder. Then if you navigate to this folder, wherever you put the OIV uh, file, once you've done that, click on it, and then the uh, package installer comes up. Next, you want to click install. Make sure you click onto your mods folder. Don't click game folder. Install in your mods folder, meaning if anything messes up in your mods folder, you can just replace your mods folder. But if you uh, put it in your game folder and, and something messes up, then you have to reinstall the whole entire game, which for some people might take a long time depending on their internet connection. So download on your mods folder, click install, and wait for that to install. Shouldn't be too long. All right, once it's uh, done installing, you can close that, and that's that one done. There's one more step that you need to do. So if you go back to this one, then you find the plugins folder, which was inside the law and order uh, download. Drag and drop your plugins folder into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and that's it. That is Law and Order images, like uh, the PEDs, over and done. You can close that one, you can delete that one in there, close you, and you keep that one open. So if you want to install this one, Serve and Rescue, then follow the next step. If you don't, then you can skip this step, okay? It doesn't. It, you don't have to have this. It's not a record. It's not um, a thing you have to have. It's just. It just makes your game better if you have it. Okay. So that's that one here. Open that that one. So this one. It's pretty much exactly what we just done. So open up this new folder one. Drag and drop this one in. Into there. You can close that one now. We don't need to do anything with the plugins folder. So we can close that one. 
Now what we want to do is come back to here, make sure in edit mode still, right? Go back to tools. Well, you can go this way. You can go tools and package installer, or you can click that one. It's exactly the same. It does exactly the same. So now you're back to that folder what we just created there, where we put the EUP SNR file in. File in. So just double click on it. It's exactly the same what we just done with the uh, Law and Order one. Install mods folder. Make sure it's a mods folder. Click install. Just wait for that to install. Shouldn't take too long. All right. Once that's installed, that's all done. That is literally all of it. So you can close everything down now. You can delete that. You can delete them if you want to. So now that's all done. Uh, launch Rage plugin hookup, and I uh, will be back when the game is loaded. So when you click on Rage plugin hook, you can press the Shift key to get this menu up. So uh, with uh, EUP, this is actually a, a plugin. So uh, you can load it on startup if you want to, or you can load it up, load it up when you're in game with the F4 console. So the best thing to just do is uh, load load all plugins on startup. So that means all these plugins which are listed here will be loaded when the game is starting. So just a tip there, just to save you uh, typing in load all plugins in the F4 console, or um, just type in individual ones each time. Okay, so that's just a tip for you. Just press save and launch and you just wait for it to launch. So if you press the F11 key, F11 that is, uh, you can use the up and down arrow or you can use your controller if you're using that. So you can use the um, up and down uh, buttons on your D-pad and the A and B button to go forward and back. So you can create your own character, which I won't get involved in because I'm LSPDFI has made your own character, so there's no point really changing that. Wardrobe, that's the same thing, so you don't really need to worry about that if you've got 0.4 LSPDFR. So the L um, Law and Order EUP, so you enter onto that one, you've got all these different um, categories, alright? So you've got the LSPD one, so you've got the all these different ones. So like uh, winter uniform, and then you got the raincoat, and you got the motor units, and you got the bike cyclist, and then you got the suit, detective, detective with the vest, windbreaker, detective wind, wind, winter, task force, canine, canine, dirt bike, uh, riot gear, SWAT uniform, pilot, and that's all the ones from um, LSPD. And then you've got the LS, S, oh, S, D. So you've got all these ones. So they're sort of the same in each one, but they're done in different categories. So you've got the San Andreas Highway Patrol. These. And you've got the S, A, S, P, which is the Park Ranger. And you've got the Blaine County Sheriff Office. The BCSO, and so on. You've got the FBI, no FIB, sorry, the DOA, the NUS, the IAA, the USAF, Military Police, SADCR, LSIA, PAP, PHPD, the DPPD, and that's all the ones you got from that. So that's all standard stuff. Then you got the serve and rescue, so this is the uh, LSFD, so Los Santos Fire Department. So you've got all the fire uniform and all the ones like that. And then you got the LSCOFD, which I can't remember off my head what that means. And you got the BCFD. Which I'm not sure. I, I never really use these categories, so I don't really know what these stand for. So you've got the SAMS, and you've got the USCAG, the Lifeguard, National Guard, the USAF, uh, Parking Enforcement. Oh, I never knew that was in this. Oh, that's where all the security ones are. <laughs> Even I learned something today. <laughs> uh, Merryweather, and you. So you've got all. All those ones there. 
So that, yeah, got corner. Yeah, so that is pretty much um, EUP. So yes, yeah, so to get the menu up, press F11. You can go in the um, INI file to change that if you want to, because just in case um, F11 clashes with someone else, something else. So yeah, that is pretty much EUP. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any uh, comments or answers, questions I should say um, about EUP or any other thing about uh, tutorials, then put a link in, uh, put a comment in the description in the comments. If I can get my hey words bro, out today, or message me on Discord where I most probably will answer you more quicker there. So uh, that's in the description as well. Uh, if you want to see my mods list, what I play in LSPDFR, then um, my mods list is in the description. Other than that, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe would be very appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video.